whatever race you're at anywhere in the world, of course, there's one vehicle that is guaranteed to lead the pack, and that is the pace car. Being the pace car at the season finale of a NASCAR event carries with it quite a lot of responsibility. You need something that's gonna be reliable, pretty damn fast, and of course represents the brand well. It's really a no-brainer that the Ford guys chose the Shelby GT500 Mustang because really, does anything else embody the full performance spirit of Ford more than this car? I don't think so. And of course it has the most powerful production V8 in the world. A supercharged 5.8 litre V8 with 662 horsepower and it sounds fantastic. That's about 150 miles an hour. So I know all about what happens when you're behind the pace car. It's now time to learn about what happens when you're inside the pace car. I'm joined here by Buster. Buster, it's a real privilege to meet you because nice to meet you. you've been here since 1975 working with the NASCAR family. What do I need to know? What are the, what are the rules? We'll set the cruise at 45 mile an hour. We'll run around the racetrack. And when they give us one to go, we'll come in. And has anyone ever done it wrong? Has, has it ever oh, yeah. gone? Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I've did it wrong myself. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get in and, and have a shot. They'll say, all right, pace car, ease it off. Then you'll start ease, and just gradually pick up your speed to 45 mile an hour. Okay. And like I say, when you get there, you're going to say, Buster, I'm at 45. I'll flip the light on. That tells the teens that we're at pit road speed, so they start checking their tack right then. Okay. Right? That's why it's so important to stay in the groove and, yeah. and make sure you're at the right speed. Okay, so I get to there, and we get to 45. Fifth gear, or you in? I'm in third. Let's go to fifth. That's what I always go. Put. You like to go to fifth? Yeah. Okay, because then it just keeps it less right. responsive. Right. To me, it looks like 45 miles an right. hour. Then I would turn the light on. Okay. And you'll have a button and you'll push it and say, first caution car, hit rate speed, four or five. That's what we got to say. And what me and you are doing, we're looking at lights. We're looking all over the racetrack to make sure there's no oil, no trash out here, nothing that would cause a wreck. Yeah. And then we can ride right in here because we can see both sides. Yeah. This is the groove right now. Right. It's like two yeah. lanes up. Yeah. 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 I mean, look, at this speed, it's almost no hands on the wheel. Oh, no. Amazing, right? Yes, it is. And then we'll come around here and say we're on one to yeah. go. We got the light out. We're coming around here. We're coming around here and we're going to stay out. And all of a sudden, I'm going to say hit pit road. All right. And then we'll go plumb to the other end. And then they'll take off by us. The noise, oh, crazy, yeah. right? So as you can see in here, a lot has changed in the last 24 hours because everybody is in town for this NASCAR nationwide race. The rigs are all in place, the fuel rigs, the tires. Now I'm here to find the driver of this car. It is the number wide Mustang driven by Trevor Bain. It's not quite like the Mustangs that we normally drive on the world's fastest car show, but it's very fast and of course it is a winner. Let's go and try and find Trevor now. Trevor Bain, really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Really great. And you're so annoyingly young. Um, <laughs> I feel really ancient and I normally don't. Uh, now obviously you've had a really great career so far and you, and you won one race this year and in a Mustang. What's it like for a young American guy to be in NASCAR and drive one of the iconic American cars? Well, they get to drive the Mustang. I mean, there's no other car I'd want to hop behind the wheel of, but uh, for me, it's something I've wanted to do since I was five years old, probably a lot like yourself, and uh, I couldn't imagine not doing it. So yeah. being at the racetrack is all I've ever known, and uh, to be at the nationwide level and at the Sprint Cup level, I mean, it's uh, a dream come true for sure. I'm here to drive the pace car for your race, right? Now, I've spent the whole of my career, as you have, staring at the back of the pace car, I guess we take for granted what the pace car does, but it does play an important role here. It does, and you're going to be wheeling that thing, so if I qualify on the pole, I might have to 
Bump draft you a little bit. Well, I was going to say, I could be your first draft of the day. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I will be. You, you can't so, draft here, don't worry. Yeah. About it. And, and I'm doing 45 miles an hour, so I think yeah. it'll be, be pretty, uh, easy. pretty pathetic. But the start of the race. How do you gear yourself up? Is it? Is it? I mean, I don't know on an oval. You don't really have a chance to warm up your tires, do you? Well, there's a, a big process as a driver, and everybody's kind of different. Some people will spin their tires to get it going. Some people will just weave back and forth. And, and myself, I don't like to spin them, but I like to get them just to that point so you can build that heat without taking the rubber off the tire. And uh, there's a big process. So you'll see us all moving around, probably a lot like you're racing. When you see me pull off, I am bribable. I would do anything to help you, but. This is the only time in my career I can say 100% I will be leading the field. That, right? That's exactly right. You know you're going to be there. i got to go do the hard job and try to qualify. Okay? Exactly. Well, listen, thanks so much. Thank I will you. be looking in my rear view mirror uh, for you coming up. Good luck. Okay, and uh, we're both in Mustangs. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. Thanks, sir. Kind of gradually. Let's go right on out. There you go. You got them all rolling. Now we can get up to it. But it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank I've you. I've heard of you, but it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, thank you. It's been really fun. I believe that's 45. Lights on. Push your button and set. So what's the, what do I say? First caution car, pit rate speed, 45. First caution car, pit road speed 45. All right, 10 have a good day here. You guys, it'll be an honor to call you our champion. So uh, you guys be careful out today and good luck to you. We'll talk to you at the end of the race. No, we just ride. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're itching the gas. <laughs> I tell you, I feel like I'm on pole. <laughs> I've never seen my mirrors this full with cars. <laughs> this is bloody terrifying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I tell everybody that drives in the cup race. If Carl Edwards is up in front, he's going to hit you. <laughs> They're getting racy. The lights are out all the way down the banking. That's pretty cool. See, they're jockeying around a little more now. Oh, they are. I got someone up my backside that looks like he's about to join us in the back seat here. Stay. Stay. Go to pit road. Turn left. There you all go. Right. That's perfect. That was pretty darn cool. And we'll go down there where we turned in yesterday, or day before. Sorry. Look at them all, they're right next to me. Okay, they're ready to go. And the race is underway, the green flag has dropped. That is extraordinary. I just got overtaken by 36 cars. <laughs> Show. And thanks to Ford for giving me a, a one of a lifetime.